Hello, my friends, and welcome to Imperium Galactica 2. Uh, the second in the obvious second uh, game in the Imperium Galactica series. The first one came out. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> the first one came out in, I believe, 1997. I believe it was 97. I really haven't played much of the first one. I played it a little bit and then was like, you know, you know, uh, I was, I was foolish at the time because I had no idea that, Hey, I had no idea that, uh, it was actually a good game. But two years later, they come up with this, which is a marked improvement over the original in a lot of ways. Uh, the original game was less of a 4X uh, than this one is. This one is much more traditional 4X. Uh, now, a couple of notes before we get started. Uh, I am running this in a window right now because, like last week's game, Independence War, this, uh, when running in full screen, for some reason on open broadcaster software, it just stutters like a madman. Uh, just, uh, just stud, stud, fr just horrible stuttering. So I'm running it in a window thanks to DXWND, which in a lot of times when it works, it's a lifesaver. Because right now it's running in a small window, um, but it's perfectly viewable and it's moving a lot better. Uh, second, this game has no widescreen support at all. Uh, I tried stretching it out on the screen. Uh, in OBS, so it would take up the whole screen, but it looked kind of bad. A lot of games you can fudge with that and stretch it out a little bit, and it it it, it looks okay. This one not so much. Um, so that's why there are going to be black bars on the side of the screen, which is unusual for me. But this game does not do any kind of widescreen. It's running at I think 1280 by 1024 right now. So, we are going to start a single player game. We're going to do the campaign. And in this game, you can play one of three races. You can play basically the humans or the Solaran Empire. You can play the Shinari. Excellent diplomatic and intelligence skills. And you can play the Krahen. Uh, who are natives of another galaxy and savage warriors. I've only played these two. Um, but I think I want to do the Shinari. Just do something a little different, you know? So we're going to do the Shinari. We're going to do it on normal. Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! Damn! I actually have the CD version of this game. You can get this on the iPad too, if you want. I didn't put the... Oh no! Yeah, hang on. That's what you asked me to do, man. Hang on. You told me to insert this disc. Oh, is it going to crash on me? It might crash on me. I didn't have the disc installed. <sighs> oh, I didn't have the disc installed because uh, I didn't know which campaign I wanted to pick. I wanted that to be a surprise to me. Cancel. Oh, look, that worked. Thank you. Oh! We have some business to attend to. A trader is online, and I expect he will ask us to provide him with an escort. What do you think? The usual business, perhaps? All right, advisor. Let's see what he has to say. Greetings, noble emperor of the Shinari. In a few days, I will be carrying vital ores to Epsilon 5, and I may need some friendly company. 
The standard Traders League insurance policy should cover you, unless your cargo is of a very high value. Well, my cargo is not that valuable. Good. I think you will need five fighters at least. You know our prices. I will send the fighters to meet you before you leave. Thank you, Emperor. As we suspected, I'm sure his cargo is more valuable than he is admitting. Call Bormarg as a pirate leader. Our scenario escort's very quiet. What is your opinion, Leader One? Hey, where are they going? What's happening? What's going on? attack! The escorts have abandoned us. He's on my tail, I can't shake him! Congratulations on your succession, Emperor of the Shinai. Shin Although your armed forces are not as strong as those of other empires, your strength lies in your skill as traitors, diplomats, and spies. You should exploit the conflict and mistrust between other races for your own profit. Okay. So, welcome to, uh, I'm just going to take a little getting used to. Welcome to, um... Imperium Galactica 2, I'm playing the Shinari. <laughs> this is the star map. Uh, as you can see, there's already a ship here. Uh, thank goodness this works. It's the mini map. So, yeah. So, I got to be careful because if I go too far the cursor goes out of the window. All right. So there are lots of things to this game. First, you have the help screen, every screen. Uh Oh, don't crash on me. Okay. See every screen you can get, the, you can get to this from anywhere, which is nice. It's F five. It's F one. Just tells you how to do pretty much everything. So F two is the star map, which is what we're looking at. Now F three is our plan of view. This is one thing that sets Imperium Galactica 2 apart from other um, games like this is that you have full command of your ground uh, colonies, including weapons and tanks and all sorts of things. It's pretty great, actually. And each plant looks a little different. So as you can see, this uh, colony has a plant, a park. This, this colony is already pretty well established. Every time you so, you uh, make a new colony, um, there's a uh, that's where they start with the hub, and you can build factories and food. So let's see, you can click on that and see how they're doing. High taxes, criminals. Uh, I'm not going to do much with the taxes right now, but criminals it's something I can do with. So let's see, I'm going to build a police station right about. Uh, Let's see, let's build it over there. Yeah. So now we're building a police station. Hopefully we have enough people and power to do this. Let's uh, speed a things up. Spy has arrived at your spy base. Hang on a second. I don't remember what these keys are. 
Now, once that's done, it might need power. That's why I want to see if it does. No, it doesn't. Okay, we're good. I'm probably going to need to build a new fusion plant soon, though. Let's see. So, yeah, there are four different types of things you can build. Planetary guns and rocket fortresses. Planetary guns will <clears throat> attack enemy ships in space from the surface, while rocket fortresses are for enemy tanks. But what we need is blah, 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 a fusion plant for more power because we're going to be building more stuff that's just the way it goes so this is our one planet right now stop it come on come on now we have our research screen this is the uh research level we're at and this is the research you know this is the research level that you know we need to be so there are three different types of research sh uh, ground stuff ship stuff and building stuff and uh, you know we do not have the required level yeah, we don't have enough building research centers, so we should fix that. So we should build a building research center. Let's see. Building research. Um, okay. Build it right there. All right, so now we have ship research and the ship factory and a food factory so once the police station um, I mean th this should um, this should go down now that the uh... oh good alright it's a space bar space bar toggles between these so uh, now that the police station has been built as you saw uh, the problems with um, The problems with the uh, criminals went down, and because that went down, high tax. The problems with high taxes went down. You want to keep an eye on that, because you don't want your population to uh, get so unhappy they will revolt. So there are other screens. We also have a design screen where you can design. Oh no! Oh damn! Dizam. Dizam. That's depressing. Let's get it back. As you can see, this game is a little, little glitchy. Oh no, it didn't save my game. That's okay, we're just gonna start from scratch again. Uh, yep. Campaign. Yep, we already have their disc in there. Waka waka, normal. No, we don't need to watch it. Congratulations on your succession. I'm ready. The All those we see. Although your armed forces are not as strong as those of other empires, your strength lies in your skill as traitors, diplomats, and spies. You should exploit the conflict and mistrust between other races for your own profit. All right. So, wow, you are slow. All right. So yeah, as you saw, I gave him like a patrol route to scan for other. Um, areas so let's do what we were doing before don't crash on me don't crash on me okay same as before same as before all right so let's build there's already a police station apparently that isn't enough okay let's build uh another police let's build Oh, first we gotta build a fusion plant. A 
and then we'll build another police station right next to that one and then we'll build building research okay we're gonna save the game real quick so we don't have to do all that again let's take you to the design screen oh don't crash don't crash oh no that's not good is it gonna do that every time if you're curious as to what game i'm looking at it's that one. Oh, you can't see it it's that one uh, I don't know why that was in my Steam thingy. I was just looking around at stuff. I actually own it, but I haven't played it. I need to fix that. That's the same thing with a lot of games. So let's try this again. Oh, my God. I am so sorry, you guys. I had a feeling this would happen. It's weird, like if you don't focus the window exactly, it like puts it, as you saw, off to the side. It's kind of weird. All right, let's try that again. Let's, uh, looks like we're going to avoid the design screen. Let's see if we can look at the other screens. Uh, spying. So we have a spy right now. I guess all we can really do is uh, training or counterintelligence. Let's do some training. So we're going to train your ass. Um, we don't have any trade. Yeah, there's no trade. So right now what we need to do is just uh, let our ship. Well, we should build. Um, we should basically build another destroyer and then a colonization ship. Uh, and here you can build tanks as well. Oh, we're not going to have enough money. So we're building another destroyer. We're going to find another planet. That's... Damn it. So let's uh, watch... Let's watch our uh, conqueror, little destroyer, do its thing. Come on, man. All right, so let's see if we can find the ourselves. Has returned. Let's see if we can find ourselves. Your orders. And now the downside is the farther away he gets. Your actually. orders. Orders received. A new spy has arrived at your spy base. He has to be kind of close to our sensor area. What's this? Rocky. New message received. Don't crash on me. Don't crash on me. Pirate Stronghold has been located. Really? Um, We've received a tip off from a merchant about a pirate base. He saw one of their cruisers and followed it from a distance to a stronghold they obviously use for supplies and repairs. We know the planet is defended by a sizable fleet, but we've been unable to ascertain the strength of their ground units. For okay. the sake of the merchants, if nothing else, it's time to clear out this sector. Okay. So that's the pirate base right there. I'm gonna build a colonization ship now. Let's speed that up a little bit. Because we're gonna take that planet right there, that little central planet. So you want me to build you want me to destroy 
that, okay, well, I'm going to have to build a few more of these then. Yeah, let's build a few of those. Speed things up a bit. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's a nice planet. So we like rocky planets. Okay. It's another rocky planet. An Good. enemy fleet has been spotted. Oh crap. Awaiting orders. What is it? Unit reporting. Crap. All right, I don't know. Uh, keep going. I don't know what's going to do. Is it going to attack my home? An we're... enemy fleet has been spotted. Great. All right, hang on. Um, we are going to build... Uh, how much power do we have? Oh, we don't have enough people. Damn it. Well, right now, we need something, we need, we need one of these guys. Okay. Now we need Your you, orders. we need you to head back I here. Oblige. Crap. Really, already? Your planet has been overrun by enemy forces. Oh, really? Oh, that's fair. Your orders? Yes? Oh, I didn't even... I totally forgot that these... This ship is a fleet. It wasn't just one ship. It was a fleet. Awaiting orders. Let's go. Awaiting orders. Target acquired. Your orders? Moving to attack. Yes. All right, let's target acquired. Can't zoom in any further. That's a shame. Hopefully we can take these guys out. Okay. Was that all of them? Target acquired. Let's go. Come on. Whoa, man. Crashed again. Wow, you guys. Wow. That is kind of infuriating. Okay. 
Your orders. Maneuvering thrusters on. Uh. Moving into position. No, no, damn it. Moving to new position. Where, wait, where did... I can't zoom out. I can't zoom out, like, at all. This is ridiculous. Wow, lots Any of technical... planet has been overrun by your forces. Yeah, and I got it back, didn't I? Didn't I? Oh, for God's sakes. I can't even see my cursor now. There it is. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Really, that's how it works? Okay. Yes. Acknowledged. Okay, sorry, let's see. Did I ever finish building that planetary gun I was trying to build? It did, but apparently it didn't do anything. What? What messages arrived? Oh, don't crash on me. Okay. The merchants have sent us a message to express their disappointment with our actions over the pirates. They expected to see results much faster, so they've enlisted the help of another empire to take care of the situation. The merchants have sent us a message oh, to damn. express their disappointment with our actions over the pirates. They expected to see results. Damn. Well, I'm sorry, you guys. Okay, so I've got... I'm ready. Oh, hey, guys. Uh, Unit reporting. Yay, we colonized it. zippity doo -da. Dang it! Really? Okay, I want to make sure that that worked, though. So, okay, this is frustrating. For... Wow, you guys. So, I can't build ships, and I can't look at a fleet's makeup. Because that'll cause the game to crash. Well, let's, uh... I don't know what I could change here. Okay. There's our new planet. It's not up yet. I mean, the, um, the, uh, the hub is not up yet. The nice thing about this is that you can just scroll between your planets with a, uh, with the page up, page down keys. It's a decent interface. Uh, we have civilian auto build, which is interesting. <sighs> I don't want to do this, but I think for the next time I'm going to try it full screen. Just see if it crashes less. You know, we're going to give it a shot. So thanks for watching this first entry. We got some stuff done. We failed a mission to take out a pirate base because we weren't ready for that. Uh, we lost our planet, got it back, had a fight, and uh, crashed a bunch. 
These late 90s games, man, I tell ya, they could be really twitchy. You know, just really just touchy. So thanks for watching this first entry, and I will see you for the next one. Bye!